So once again, medium to heavy weight sliders and a band. We'll go ahead and start. Let's just start with a march in little arm circles. We'll start with our shoulders and just make them a little bit bigger. Palms are facing away from you and bigger and as big as you can. And then palms are facing in front of you. We'll start with little arm circles again, a little bigger and as big as you can. From there, we'll go into a nice light jog, warm up our bodies. We're gonna start with legs today because we did a lot of arms and core the last two classes. Let's go into some jumping jacks, but you know I'll get to those also. <laughs> And cross over front and back, open that chest up. And go ahead and just side to side IT band. Fair form this little wake up. And hamstring, opposite arm and leg. Nice and gentle to start. One more on each side. into some squats, get that fluid moving in our knees, weight in your heels, chest up. And as you get comfortable, go a little deeper. We're gonna add a heel lift. The arms go back and all the way up on your toes. And just hold as low as you can, pulse it out. Try to keep that back nice and straight, not arched or rounded. Five, four, three, two, one little wider stance, inner thighs. You can still get some of your shoulders. Stretch up and over. Try to go as deep as you can. Now you're gonna try to go even deeper and lift up your toes each side. So you can get as far as you can. Go ahead and hold here. Roll your wrist in one direction. Roll on the other. Other side. Tight fist and open up. Right in the middle. Lower back stretch. Other side. And bring your feet in just a little bit closer. Legs are bent, back is straight. And then you're going to straighten your legs and round your back. And back down. Pushing backwards on that, trying to get those hamstrings a little bit. And then straighten your legs, round your back. Walk your hands out to a nice tight plank. You can see me. And bring each leg to the side as far as you can. Two times. Walk your hands back. Go ahead and bend those legs. And then straighten them. Walk back out one more time. Side, as far side as you can. Walk back. And gently come up. We'll start with a Tabata. We're gonna do a lunge hop. So a couple of options. We're either here, just coming up, or you're adding a hop. So 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We have eight rounds. You can alternate every round if you want to. I'm gonna stay on one side for two rounds and then switch to every two rounds. If you really wanna wear your legs out, fatigue them, you could do four rounds on one side and four on the other. But then it gets really hard and you're not really functioning very well. But you could try that. So. Get ready, 20 seconds on. Nice lunge, go ahead and start. Get those arms in. Let those arms help you come up. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and active recovery. You're right here. If you can on those lunges, 
try to hover your knee above the floor. You have three, two, one. So as you go down, don't rest it, but see if you can tap that knee slightly on the floor. Ten seconds. If lunges hurt, you could always go to side to side squats. And recovery. Get ready to switch sides. You have five, four, three, two, one. Other side. 20 seconds. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Recovery, sort of. Five, four, three, two, one. This is round four, halfway after this. Lots of legs in the very beginning. 10 seconds. When you get Joni ready for that 14 or she wants to hike. Three, two, one, hold. Get ready to switch sides. All right, you have five, four, three, two, one, 20 seconds. Round five. Two more on this side if you're switching every two. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, hold. One more on this side. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Oh, this should be getting a little tired, I hope, unless it's just me. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Get ready to switch to your other side. All right, you have five, four, three, two, one, 20 seconds, two more rounds. And then we're gonna go into some more squats. <laughs> 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, last recovery. You can pull it. Five, four, three, two, one, last 20 seconds. Oh, thank goodness. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Take your legs out. Hopefully that got them nice and warmed up. We're gonna start, if you need some water, grab some water. We're gonna start with squat up and down. So you go down, as you go down, try to have the top of your foot down and not here, so you're not pushing off your toes. Down as low as you can, you're gonna stay and keep going up and down. We have one minute. After 30 seconds, you're gonna switch directions on which leg you put up first. If this is too much for your knees and you don't have enough padded floor, you can stay up going out, staying low, and then switch your direction. We have one minute. Get ready, start right now. One minute, stay nice and low. You don't have to use the weight. You can put the weight down. Keep that weight nice and close to you so you don't hurt your back. Just snug it right into your chest. Keep that back nice and straight too. Try not to arch or round. Put too much pressure in your lower back. All right, you're halfway. Switch directions.
10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. We have weight transfer. So I like to go forward on my lunges. Chest is really tight, straight. Weight goes underneath. Try not to go down forwards and back and go to the other side. You can also do reverse. I'm gonna try to switch. I'll go 30 seconds forward, 30 seconds back, just to mix it up. Find what works for you. Once again, you can do side to side squats if those hurt. Get ready. You have three, two, one. For one minute right here. Try to push off that leg that's moving forward or backwards, depending on what direction you're going. Once again, try to have that knee hover right on that floor. You don't want to use it, but you want to go as low as you can. We're almost halfway. Go ahead. If you want to, you can switch directions. Keep going though. I'm going to go backwards and push off my back leg. Might be a little more than a minute. That seems to go by really fast. 15 seconds. You have five. Four, three, two, and one. All right, shake it out. Now we're gonna hold a squat for 45 seconds. Toes are slightly pointed out. Feet are slightly out. You're gonna go straight down. So this time you're not sitting in your seat. Your back is straight. You're gonna try to go straight down with it. And we're gonna hold. You don't have to use a weight. If you do, just keep it right here next to you. You could, as long as it doesn't hurt your back, you could throw some biceps in there. Let's get, get ready. And you have five, four, you can already get in. Three, two, and one. While we're here, we're gonna do 16 alternating heel lifts. Here we go, 16, 15, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, both heels at the same time, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, 10 low pulses and we're done. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, ouch. <laughs> Go ahead and come up. Side lunge overhead. One or two weights. Grab a drink, rest while I show, show you the next move. If you have two weights, you're gonna go down as far as you can to one side, I like to add a little tricep kickback with the other arm. Then they come up and over, you could add a heel lift. Other, just take one weight here and up. We have 10 on one side and 10 on the other. You could try one, if you don't like it, switch, try the harder one and then modify. You could have no weights, that's fine too. All right, one side, we're gonna stay for 10. Here we go, down and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one more. And one. Roll your shoulders, shake it out. 
Other side, same thing. Here we go. Down and up. 10, nine, eight. You can go faster or slower. Seven, your pace. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and put the weights down. We have a hit training. We have a hit training. Three different moves, three times. I'm gonna give you a 20 second recovery. It's a little bit harder. Okay. First one. You have two plank jacks, two squat hops. Modification. Walk out, slide, side, step in, squat on pose. That's a modification. That's our first move. Two plank jacks, two squat hops. Next one. Here. You're just going back and forth. Just like this. If you need a break, come up. Once again, this is a modification. And our third move is court screw. You're going to be here. Or um, leg comes out, hand comes up, leg comes through. Other side. They can be a little complicated if you haven't done them. <laughs> but you've got time to play. So let's see what happens. Plank jack, starting with those, squat hop. 30 seconds, get ready, and go. Here we go. Two plank jacks, two squat hops. Keep going for 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds left. One, you're right here. Back and forth, just keep going. Need a break, come here. And down. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, corkscrew, 30 seconds, or you're here. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, walk around 20 seconds. That's a little bit of a doozy one. Keep moving. Modify as you need to. Take everything out. You have 10 seconds. We go back to plank jack. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Over halfway. Get ready. And go ahead and go to your plank in and out. Halfway. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, corkscrew. Over. 
over halfway. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Walk around, catch your breath. We're almost there, one more round. All right, 10 seconds. Shake it all out. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, last round. Five, four, three, two, one. Here, 30 seconds. Halfway. You have five, four, three, two, one, corkscrew. Last 30 seconds. Halfway, 15 seconds. One. Oh, my face is red. <laughs> that was hard. Walk around a little bit. Grab some water. We go back to squat up and down. We're going to start the legs all over again. And then we'll move on to core and arms. All right. So with or without a weight, you have your one minute up and down. And then we'll have the weight transfers. So Get ready to start. I know when I'm jumping around and stuff, the microphone doesn't work very well. And when I'm facing this way, so I'm trying to stop and help talk when I can. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ready? And start. Squat up and down. One minute. Try to stay low. We're gonna move on to legs after this set of exercises. We're gonna move on to arms and core. All right, switch directions. You have 30 seconds left. Give you a 10 second recovery. We'll go straight into the lunge weight transfers. 15 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, you have 10 seconds. Then we go to weight transfers. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go, one minute. Keep that chest nice and tall. See if you can get that knee just to tap on that floor. We're already almost halfway. Last halfway. If you want to switch your direction, going backwards, you can do that. <laughs> That's a brain teaser for me. Or you can keep going in whatever direction you're doing. 15 seconds. We have a squat hold. Inside lunge overhead. Five, four, three. Two, one. Shake it out for a second here. 
Get ready for that squat. Toes are pointing slightly outwards, a little farther apart with the feet. Get ready. And here we go. Everything is nice and straight. Let's get our 16 alternating heel lift. 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 16 together, 16. It's okay if those legs shake, mine are shaking, 13, 11, 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 10 low pulses, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, and one. Oh, when I get tired, I count a little faster. <laughs> to your benefit a little bit. <laughs> Shake it all out. One or two weights. You have your side lunge overhead, 10 on each side. I'm gonna use two weights. You don't have to use any. Here we go. Down, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, roll everything out, shake it out. Last 10 on the other side, and we move on. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Oh, all right. Go ahead and put those weights down. Grab a drink of water if you would like. And actually, I sort of fib slightly. <laughs> I guess you do have one more leg exercise, but it's not going to burn your quads. It's more to get our heart rate down a little bit and get those hamstrings and your glutes. One-legged deadlift. You're just gonna go down and back up. We're gonna stay on the same side for 12, and then the other side for 12. Try to keep a nice straight line. As your weight goes down, keep it close to your body. Your leg comes up in the back. All right, here we go. One side, down and up. We don't repeat these. We're just gonna do one set of these. This is 10. And all the way up. This is eight. We have seven more. Six. Five, four, three, this is a, almost done. Starting number two, and one. All right, other side for 12, and down. This is my wobbly side. <laughs> See, I'm concentrating. I'm intimidated by this side. We have nine more. Seven more. Starting sixth. 
five. Four. Keep going. And three. Two more. And one more. Okay, moving on to push-ups and planks. For 30 seconds, you have a pike push-up. So wherever you're at, these are very much shoulder intense. So you're here, body stays nice and straight, goes down, and then you come all the way back, pushing that floor down and engaging those shoulders. If that's too hard, if you have a couch, Put your hands on the couch, I don't know if you can see this, here, and go down. That would be a modification. We have 30 seconds of just a pike. Push up your pace, however fast you wanna go. And then we have 30 seconds on your elbows. You're gonna walk your feet back as far as you can, hold, and then walk them back up. You're gonna keep going back and forth for 30 seconds. So pike push-ups, starting with those. Get ready and go. Make it harder, your elbows go behind you, straight behind you. The closer your feet, the harder it is. Less than 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and go to your elbows. Walk those feet out. Hold, walk them in. And back out. It may not be very far that you walk your feet out. That's okay. Over halfway, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. We could use gliders, but I think you might not ever come back if you go too far. Just gonna land on the floor. All right. So next we've got our hollow hold. We're gonna do a side oblique hold, a hollow hold, and then go to the other side. I'll show you what that looks like really quick on your side. Top arm comes down, bottom arm comes up, trying to get your shoulder and your feet off the mat, squeezing the obliques. Then you're just going to roll, you're going to hold for 20 seconds, roll to a hollow. You can bring your feet up, just don't let that lower back come up. And then the other side. We're going to go back and forth for two times. Hold each one for 20 seconds. If you need to take a break, take a break. If you want to go to side, dip, side dips or bleak crunches or sit-ups, just keep moving. Find something to modify if you find that's too hard or you're not quite getting that action. So let's get ready. Side oblique hold. Go ahead and get up and start. 20 seconds right here. You should feel a pinch right in this side. You're trying to get that arm off the floor. You're over halfway. You have five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and roll on your back. Hollow hold for 20 seconds. Relax your chin. Your chin should not be stressed on your chest. Go ahead and have it nice and neutral. We're well over halfway here. You have five, four, three, two, one. You're going to roll straight to the other side and hold. Halfway. Five, four, three, two, one. Back on your back. 20 seconds. That lower back has to be hitting the mat. If not, bring your legs up a little bit. You can always go to dead bog. You're over halfway. Hang in there. We're going to go back to the first side again. Five, four, Three, two, one. This side, 20 seconds. We've got one more round. 
If you're not feeling it, squeeze even harder. Get that arm up. 10 seconds. This arm is just to help hold you so you don't fall. Five, four, three, two, one, to your back. On those side obliques, you should be a little more rounded, not arched. That hand is there so you don't fall forward. 10 seconds. We're almost done. We have one more side oblique after this. Five, four, three, two, one, and roll. This is the last one. So make sure you're a little more rounded. Try not to arch. Your feet should be in front of you, not behind. <laughs> 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, now we're gonna to get to the gliders. <laughs> if you have gliders or socks, towels, cardboard, grab whatever you have. We're gonna do butterflies and swimmers. So, first 30 seconds. You can have your feet up or you can relax them. You have 30 seconds in one direction, making big circles. Try not to use your arms. If your arms are getting tired, you're not doing them correctly. I want you to use that lower back to bring yourself up. 30 in one direction, 30 in the other, and then you have swimmers going front and back. So it's kind of a long time. Once again, you could add a little bit of a raised foot. I'm gonna try that for a little bit. Get ready and go, circles. 30 seconds. Move that phone out of the way. <laughs> Use that lower back to get yourself up. Your whole back, not just your lower back. Over halfway. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch directions, other way. 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds here, and then we go to swimmers. Five, four, three, two, one, thirty seconds, just forward and back. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and stretch that back out a little bit. Just sit right through your legs right here. Go side to side. Stretch it out a little bit. Okay, last one. These are like dolphin yoga push-ups. I learned these in yoga now, seems like forever ago, but I really like them. They load your shoulders. They're kind of fun in a weird way. You have your hands clasped, clasped in front and your elbows, you're sort of at a little bit of a diamond angle. Shoulders are right over and you're just gonna push Back and forth. Open those shoulders as much as you can and come forward. If you want to add difficulty to it, you could lift switching legs or stay one leg for 30 seconds and then switch to the other side. We're going to do it for one minute. So you can keep one leg up for 30 seconds and then switch. I was just playing around with these last night and I found those, and that just seems like it'd be really hard. So I'm gonna to try to leave one leg up for 30 seconds and then switch, but you don't have to do that at all. So just going back and forth for one minute, it's a long time. Get ready and go, here we are. Back and straight over. Nice and straight.
You are halfway. 30 seconds, less than 30 now. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. I was working so hard, I was squeezing my hands so tight. I have to learn to relax everything. Relax your fingers. Okay. So we're pretty much Done with all the sets, we're gonna go back to like our gliders. We're gonna go back to the swimmers and the butterflies. We're gonna do one more set of those. And we're just gonna, I'm gonna pick and choose a couple of the exercises we just did at the end and repeat them. Then we have our last Tabata. So instead of 30 seconds, it's just 20 seconds in each direction of swimmers. So go ahead and clear your space. Get your gliders, get ready. It's just 20 seconds in each one. Get ready and go. Once again, optional, keeping your feet up. And we're almost there. Get ready to switch directions. Go ahead and switch directions, 20 seconds the other way. Ten seconds left here. Ready for swimmers? Go ahead and start. Swimmers. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Okay. We go back to the pike push-ups. So we are going to do those again. Thirty seconds pike push-up. Thirty seconds walking your feet out in an elbow plank. So get ready. Now you sort of know what you're doing. Maybe find if you want to elevate it. You could elevate your feet. Make it much harder or elevate your hands. Get ready, pike push up and go. Halfway. Five, four, three, two, one. Walk your feet out, go to your elbows. Walking back and forth. Go ahead and start. 30 seconds. You have to keep that core really tight. Squeeze your stomach. Squeeze those glutes. 15 seconds. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Okay. I'm going to change sit-ups. So we have one more set of sit-ups. But instead of the hollow holds and the oblique hold, we're going to do 30 seconds. You're just bringing your legs and your head up at the same rate. You could do V-ups and tuck-ups if you wanted to instead. This kind of takes a little bit of the hip flexors out and just uses the stomach muscles. So we have 30 seconds of those, 30 seconds into bicycles, 30 seconds shins, opposite ankle and hand, and 30 second reverse crunch. I will save them as we do them. So for now, we're gonna start with the V-up with our legs just out to the side. Get ready and start. Make sure that back doesn't arch. You still have to push your hips to the ceiling and your stump, your back to the mat. Fifteen seconds. 
you go to bicycles. Five, four, three, two, one, and bicycles for 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, shin ups. Thirty seconds. And then we have reverse crunch. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Reverse crunch for 30 seconds, and that's it. Really try to curl those hips up. Use those lower abs. Try not to arch it the way down and use that momentum. Keep that lower back down the whole time. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh. We've got one more exercise before our Tabata. And that's the dolphins again. We're gonna do the dolphin push-ups one more time and then grab our band for our last Tabata. So you just have one minute, one leg up, no legs up, it doesn't matter. You could just hold right here or even on your knees. So when you get tired, just move to something that you can do. Are you ready? One minute, go ahead and start. Close to halfway. Halfway. Nice and controlled. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Those are tiring. Okay. This is it. Grab your band if you have one. If not, that's okay. Go ahead and put them around your ankles. We have six rounds. 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. First one, you're just going side to side. Try to stay low, push those side glutes. Second one, you're going diagonally, but out, forward and back. So diagonally and then back, diagonally back. So here we go. First round, go ahead and start right now. 30 seconds. First round so easy. It's like, oh, this is nice. I'm off my shoulders. <laughs> Over halfway. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and do a couple squats. Recovery, 10 seconds. You're ready to go forward and back. Five, four, three, two, one. Diagonal front, diagonal back. Halfway. A long halfway. 10 seconds. Scrubs 30 seconds. 
five, four, three, two, and one. We can get these squats in. Get ready. Five, four, three, two, one, sideways. Halfway, 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Some heel lifts. You can do squats if you want to, or you can do a heel lift. We're halfway. Five, four, three, two, one, forward and back. Fifteen seconds left. We have two more rounds after this. And that's it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Heel lift or squats, your choice. Two more rounds. Five, four, three, two, one. Sideways. Last time going sideways. Try to get a little lower. Push that side leg out. All right, we're close. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, and one. Heel lift. Five, four, three, two, one, forward and back. Last 30 seconds. Over halfway. 10 seconds, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, that's it. Now we get to stretch. Go ahead and keep moving a little bit. One arm up and over as you move your legs. Try not to grab your elbow just right above it. And bring that arm in front. And other side up and over. And then in front. And let's go ahead and go on our backs for a quick little stretch. I'm wondering if we can use these band <laughs> if we dare. Just one leg up in the air. Go ahead and point that foot. If you have shoes on, be careful. I can put this in the nice arch of my foot. I don't want it to come back on you. If not, then just grab your leg. You can't use the band. Point and flex. And then take a couple deep breaths. As you breathe out, try to get this leg a little closer to your chest. Try to keep it as straight as you can and breathe. Then you're gonna take this leg across your body. So I'm using opposite arm and leg. And turn your head the opposite way of your leg. And bring it the other direction. Same arm, same leg. You can use a yoga strap. You could use a jump rope. You can use anything else. And go ahead and take if you have a strap or something, and take that off. We'll do our hip and glutes, especially since we did the bands at the end. 
keep both feet flexed, pushing this leg into your, your knee into your ankle and your ankle into your chest. Take some deep breaths. And gently release, go to the other side, same thing. Gotta run, thanks, Marianne. Thanks, Abby. Leg up, point and flex if you can. Take a deep breath as you breathe out, try to get that leg a little higher. And bring that leg over. Oh, that's a little tight today. Try to relax into the stretch and gently bring that leg up to the other side. You want to try to keep both hips facing the ceilings on this. The ceiling. And gently let go of that strap and bring your legs to the hip and glute. And gently let go. We'll just do our shoulders and our angles as we stand up. Okay, shoulders pushing through, straight arms right by your ears, straight back. And Achilles and ankle. Roll your ankles in each direction. And then walk your hands back to a nice forward bend. And slowly come up. And I will unmute you.